PBMS is an environmental monitoring scheme that uses birds of prey as sentinels to measure chemical residues in the environment. The reason for using biological sentinels like birds is it really tells us that this is um, the amount of pollution to which living organisms are exposed. If we used a widget that measured what's in the soil, we wouldn't know how much of that material in the soil necessarily would go into wildlife or potentially into people. So the early work of the scheme was based around looking at the impacts of organochlorines but as they have reduced in the environment, we've refocused our work onto priority compounds that are relevant today. And these include things like rodenticides, um, metals such as lead from lead shot, um, mercury, and a range of organic compounds such as flame retardants, which will be, for example, in the seats that you might be sitting on. And they have relevance for both the environment and wildlife, but also for human health because they can affect the health of people. We're now currently working on rodenticides and that work's been important because it's highlighted a problem with these compounds moving through multiple food chains and affecting a variety of predators. This wasn't actually recognised at the time by industry or the regulators. Currently, the use of these compounds now falls under a new stewardship scheme and we're not quite sure how that's going to work and the PBMS monitoring is providing a key means of detecting whether that stewardship is reducing impacts on wildlife. One of the heavy metals that we're looking at is mercury, and the concern there is that environmental concentrations are rising, partly because of the increase in coal burning in Asia, for example in China and India, and the transport around the world in the atmosphere of these compounds. So we're monitoring using our birds to see whether levels in the UK are rising and whether they may be of significance both to wildlife and potentially to people. The issue around lead, particularly for predators, is they eat game that have been shot and carry lead pellets or ammunition that can affect and actually kill them. And the United Nations Environment Programme has called recently for a worldwide ban on lead in ammunition and shot. And the importance of the PBMS is it's providing evidence of how much lead contamination there is in wildlife and how that might change in the future. We have quite a wide variety of users, actually. Academically, our work really informs uh, the scientific community about what's driving processes and changes in environmental contamination. Regulators really use our data because it gives them an indication of early warnings of um, new contaminants or changes in current levels of priority contaminants of concern. Industry are particularly interested in some of our data, particularly around uh, rodenticide stewardship and the impacts that that's having. And finally, our big vision is really to further develop European networks that we're involved with to develop monitoring at a pan-European scale, and that will match the scale that regulation for chemicals is now undertaken at in Europe. When our box arrives in the morning with the carcass at CH, we obviously take the bird out of the box, take some basic measurements, and then it goes in for a post-mortem examination. And the reason we do that is really to ascertain the cause of death and also to collect key tissues that we might want to use for chemical analysis. Some of those tissues might go to the lab for processing, and others will be stored in our long-term tissue archive that contains samples that date right back to the 1960s. That archive is a fantastically useful resource. It allows us to do retrospective studies, but also we work with a whole range of academic collaborators on projects that utilise those tissues.
If you find a dead bird of prey, you can help to protect the nature all around us by contacting the Predatory Bird Monitoring Scheme. We'll send you a postage paid box with everything you need to send the bird back to us. Our scientists will then analyze the bird for pollutants, learning how to keep wildlife and our environment safe. For more information, find us on Twitter at PBMS at CEH, find us on Facebook, give us a ring, or visit our website.